welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a, another empties video. This one I have a lot. And that's only because I went through my cupboards and I wanted to use everything that was partially used already. Half bottles, you know, bottles a little bit left. So I have a lot because I wanted to get those partially used bottles out. There's no point in keeping them if they are already almost done. So we're just gonna jump right in because I don't wanna make this too long. Um, but yeah, let's get right on into it. We're gonna start with bathroom and like bathroom items, personal care items, all that good stuff. So we're gonna start with, I used up a pack of makeup removers. These are the Members Mark, I believe. They are from Costco, or not Costco, Sam's Club. I buy them by a huge box. Um, I believe a box of like nine of these are $11. I will repurchase. They work fabulous and they are a great price. Next is a tube of diaper rash cream for my son. This is the Up and Up brand, so the Target brand. Um, it is compared to Desitin Maximum Strength, and this is one of my favorites. I alternate between this one, the blue one from Desitin, and also the um, red butt paste. Kind of depends on what diaper rash she has, is kind of which one I would go for. So I switch it up, but this one is one of my favorites, and it's completely gone and it is only like two or three dollars for the generic brand versus how expensive the other desitin one is. Highly, highly recommend it. I have already purchased another one. Next is a finished bottle of perfume. This is Oh So Sexy by Victoria's Secret. Um, it smells pretty good. I think I've mentioned it before that I did used to work at Victoria's Secret, so I got this as a gratis a long time ago. Um, a gratis is when we got to try new items for like really cheap if you work there so I got this when I work there will I repurchase probably not because I don't wear perfume all the time I have it because I stocked up when I work there so I'm using another one by Victoria's Secret right now but will I probably go out and repurchase this no is there anything wrong with it no I just don't find myself gravitating towards perfume but other than that it smelled good it was a nice perfume um, so if you like perfume, go try Victoria's Secret. They have some pretty good ones. Uh, next item that we finished was the Suave Professionals Men 2-in-1 Classic Clean. I've already bought a new bottle. My husband loves this. I think it smells pretty good. I don't use it personally. My husband loves this though. He says it does, makes his hair feel good. So, have already repurchased. So, if your husband's or if you or whoever needs shampoo, give this try. It's a relatively decent price too. Okay, next product is the Philosophy White Pear Shower Gel. Um, it says it can be used as shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. I don't really take baths myself or I, would, I don't use this for shampoo, but as a body wash, it worked fantastic. It smells really good. It's a nice fruity scent, so Highly recommend it. I don't have this scent already, but I have purchased more. I do like the Philosophy body washes, so um, I already have some, but highly, highly recommend it because it is a good body wash. Huh, I actually finished another one as well. They must have both been open. This is Dance of the <laughs> Dance of the Dew Drop Fairy. I believe this is a Christmas edition one. Um, smells really good. I love this smell. Um, I got it for Christmas and I partially used it and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna use it up. So again, I love the Philosophy body washes. I think they are worth the price. So highly recommend them. Next is the Johnson's Bedtime Baby Bubble Bath. I talked about this in my last empties. I'm not gonna go too much into it. Love this stuff. It's a good relaxing bubble bath for my son after um, the bath, or you know, during his bath when he's getting ready for bed. I have, though, found myself not gravitating toward, towards Johnson & Johnson. Um, the Up & Up brand at Target has the same body wash lavender. I believe it's the same ounces as well, but for $4 cheaper, and it actually bubbles up a little bit better. So if you've been wanting to try the bubble bath, recommend the Up & Up brand because it's cheaper and I found it works better. So that one is done. 
Okay, the next one is the Johnson's Baby Soothing Vapor Bath. This I have already repurchased. I love this stuff. So when my son gets a runny nose, congestion, a cold, anything, I add a couple capfuls of that to his bubble bath, and this seems to help help him a little bit. I really think so. Um, it's supposed to comfort fussy babies, and it just had that menthol smell, so it kind of helps decongest. Highly recommend this stuff. It is a little pricey for the size of the bottle. It's only 15 floor ounce, and I believe it's like five dollars a bottle that's a little pricey to me compared to a lot of the other Johnson sizes and prices for a lot of their other products but I do find myself gravitating towards it so I have already purchased another one okay you have probably heard me rave about this in multiple videos before but this is the Mario Badescu the facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea I've already said it multiple times I love this stuff I actually already have two bottles of this. I'm using one and I have another backup under my sink. So highly recommend it. To say I love it is an understatement. So highly recommend any of the facial sprays because I do own all three. And I use all three daily. <laughs> okay, next is by Mario Badescu as well. This is the Strawberry Face Scrub. I love this product, but it doesn't do what it says. It says it's supposed to be a face scrub, but honestly, I did not get the exfoliation that I wanted out of it. Was it a, it smelled like strawberries, it was really nice, it was smooth, it really felt good on my skin, so I would use it, I would, I'm probably going to end up purchasing it again, but not for an exfoliation, kind of like face scrub aspect, just a nice fruity face wash. So I do like it, but if you are looking for a face exfoliator, I would not go for this one. Okay, next is a lotion it is the hemp's pure herbal extracts in pomegranate i don't think i've ever talked about hemp's on my channel before but i do actually really really like their lotions um i think this is like my third bottle i finished for them i think i have two under my sink one of them um, is partially used it's a peach scent that my husband got me for christmas one year and i love that one and i actually just bought a um bottle of their triple moisturizer one I believe it's a blue one I got it at TJ Maxx actually um, I normally buy them at Ulta but I recently found them at TJ Maxx and they are a fraction of the price so if you've ever want to try these go to TJ Maxx because that's where I'm gonna start buying them now but I love them great smells and they really really do moisturize your body so highly recommend them okay continuing with the lotions again like I said I had you know partial so I've been using them up so this one is pear berry. I love this smell for the spring and summer. It smells exactly like pears and berries mixed. So I have never had a problem with Bath & Body Works. I've used it for years. So I love their lotions. This smells one of my favorites. But the next lotion I have from them that I finished, this is my absolute favorite smell. I don't know if I'm gonna say it right because I don't know if I've ever been able to say this right, but I'm gonna say Sheer Freshia that flower um, this is one of their like um, this is one of those scents that come back you know when they re-release like old old scents every once in a while online or in their store um, so when I do see it I end up picking up a couple bottles a couple body washes of you know lotion body wash sprays I stock up on it I think I have like three of each underneath my sink right now um, but this is my all-time favorite scent. It's just a, like a, a light floral scent. So highly recommend that one. It is really nice and it is great lotion. It does moisturize very well. Okay, and along with that scent, Sheer Freshia, it is an empty bottle of their body spray. I use body spray more than perfume. So I do, don't go through these as much as some people, but I do go through quite a few body sprays. Um, I just have a lot under my sink. So I just kind of transition whatever I smell like, whatever I want to smell like, whatever time of year it is. So highly, highly recommend this scent and I highly recommend the body sprays. They're great. Okay, and then the last empty of like body care kind of is the Secret Hawaiian or Hawaii Citrus um, deodorants. I use this deodorant in whatever scent I pick up. I love it works very well and all the smuts, scents smell good. So highly recommend this as well. My only beauty
beauty item actually this month I have is the Lancome 24 hour makeup foundation with SPS, SPF 15. I've had this for a while. I think it was coming on the two year mark and I'm like, I need to use it up before it goes bad. Um, this is in the shade 140 Ivory. When I first bought it, it was fantastic. That was before I was pregnant with my son though. So after my son, my face became very, very dry. So this unfortunately way too dry for me. It accentuated my dry patches and it just, by the end of the day, it looked really bad, even though it said 24 hours. So um, it just didn't work for my skin type. Everybody's skin type is different. Um, when it first went on the coverage, everything was great, but by the end of the day, for me, it did not work for me. But I wanted to use up the bottle because it is an expensive foundation. I didn't want it to go to waste. So um, if you love this, I'm so glad. I loved it before my skin changed. But unfortunately now, it wasn't working for me. So I think I have changed, um, I think the video that's gonna be uploaded before this is my uh, June favorites. And that's when I talked about the It Cosmetic CC Cream. So that's what I've changed to and that works great for my skin. So next is home care, cleaning, all that good stuff. <sighs> so I think in every video I mentioned Sensi because I'm a huge Sensi holic. That's what I'm gonna call myself. I have a little bit of a problem when it comes to Sensi. So, when I change out my warmers into a new scent, I actually use an entire bar. So, I'm just gonna kinda run through these real quick because I have quite a few Scentsy wax bars I have finished. You're probably gonna think I'm crazy because there are so many of them, but I do have a very, very large collection of Scentsy wax, and yeah, let's just get into this embarrassing stack. First is Citrus Garden. Not my favorite. Um, I kinda just wanted to use it up. It is a more it's exactly what it smells. It smells like citrus. Um, I'm not a huge fan of citrus, but I did use it up. So, but if you like citrus, highly, highly recommend this. It smells great if you do like citrus. If not, if you, if you think it's too overpowering, don't go for it. Next one is one of my all-time favorites. It is a new one. It is the Johnny Apple Seed. It smells just like apples. So, I think it's perfect for spring and summer. Highly, highly recommend this if you like fruity smells. Next one is another fruity smell. Um, Berry of Paradise. If you like fruity, if you like berries, it's a very subtle berry smell, but it smells delicious when it is warmed. So if you do like berries, if you do want new fruity smells, go for that one as well. Um, this one I know is not available anymore because it was like a bring back my bar kind of thing where they bring back retired scents. And I was really excited. It is beach. It smells like sunscreen, like um, the beach, kind of like, um, you've smelt sun and sand or something like that from Yankee Candle, that's what it smells like. This is one of my favorites. I'm sad it's not in the permanent collection, but what are you gonna do? So I just grabbed it while it was available and it's gone now. Already. So another retired scent that is one of my favorites is Thunderstorm. It smells literally like, I don't know about you, but with me, I'm fascinated with the smell of rain. Like I can smell rain when it's coming and that's what this smells like. And it is one of my favorite smells for the year. Like we're, we're in a monsoon season for Arizona and that is one of my favorites, but that is retired. So unfortunately I don't have it anymore. So um, I wish Sensi would bring it back, but I guess we'll see. This one I don't think is available anymore either. Oh my goodness, I'm giving you sense that I, that you can't buy. But uh, peach a la mode. Smells like peach. I love anything peach. Um, if you want peach and one that's available, I highly recommend Southern Sweet Tea. It's like a peachy smell. That's the one I go to for the current catalog when I want peach. The next one is not available either. Oh my goodness. But it is one of my favorites again and I am sad to see it go. Um, it is Coconut Vanilla Orchid. It smells coconut mix of flowers. It's one of my favorites, but again, not available anymore, which is sad. Okay, one of the ones I've actually grown to like over the last couple months is Pink Haze. Um, I can't really explain the scent. It's a very kind of like clean but florally scent. I do like it. Um, I think I have two more bars in my stock, so I'm not too sad that this one is finished. I do like it. Um, highly, highly recommend Pink Haze. 
next is Havana and Cabana. This is, I think, a coconutty kind of summer scent. So, kind of goes with the name. If you want a good summer scent, Havana Cabana is great. Okay, next one is Rainforest Bungalow. If you watched my um, Scentsy unboxing, I cannot, I still can't place it. I still can't place this smell. It smells like a leaf to me, but a good leaf. So if you like leafy kind of smells, if that makes any sense at all, this is a good one. I do, I did enjoy this in the warmer. Next is Southern Evening. Um, this I would consider more of like a masculine masculine smell, masculinity, I don't know what I was trying to say, masculine smell. Um, kind of reminds me of a cologne a little bit. So if you're into that stuff, it is a good one. Next one, you've probably seen me rave about, talk about everything. Clothesline, all time favorite clean smell. Mm, it's just perfect. Highly, highly recommend this one. Next is Skinny Dippin'. This is a good, good summer scent. I love it. I love this scent. It's like a, it's like a beach, beach smell. It's a good, good summer scent. The last Scentsy Bar, I know it's crazy how many I have. It's scary. Don't tell my husband I buy all these. <laughs> but um, it is actually the first one I ever bought and I am still stuck on it. It's one of my favorites. It is a bonfire beach. It smells just like having a bonfire on the beach late summer nights sun's going down you're at a, you know you're making you're roasting those marshmallows making those s'mores and that's exactly what this smells like i absolutely love it if you like the smell of marshmallow and all that stuff highly recommend this one let me take a sip real quick <laughs> okay we're gonna jump into cleaning products so if you have followed my channel you know i like all of the mrs myers products and so I finished the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner in the Scent Mint. Um, I love the cleaner. I love this cleaner. I've probably raved about it on my channel before. The mint wasn't my all-time favorite smell. Um, I'm not saying it's bad, but it wasn't one that I like wanted to buy more bottles of, and like I didn't gravitate it grav gravitate towards it so much compared to the other smells like the peony or the lilac. But it's still was a decent smell and it was a great cleaner so i have already purchased and have a stock of mrs myers under my cabinet um so if you do want a good cleaner try mrs myers great cleaner and they have great smells same scent in the dish soap the dish soap i can't rave about it anymore i love it that's all i use so highly recommend any of the mrs myers dish soap Depends on what scent you like, that's what I would buy. And then the same thing in the hand soap. Again, I can't rave about the hand soap any more than I already have because I love it and that's pretty much all I use. Sometimes I'll use a different one, but that's only because I have stock of it and I wanna get rid of it. But other than that, pretty much you can only find Mrs. Meyer's hand soaps in my house. Next is the Home Sense Dish Packs in the Citrus Scent. I tried these because I don't like the price of the Cascade Platinum but I find the Cascade Platinum cleans my dishes so well. So if you want a cheaper alternative, this cleans your dishes pretty good. Not as great as uh, Cascade Platinum. So I will be going back to Cascade Platinum. If I need to buy these on like a pinch, like if I really need dish packs, but I don't want to spend this, you know, the high prices at the grocery store rather than Amazon, I will pick these up again, but they're not my favorite. Okay empty method squirt and mop spearmint sage the scent is great the cleaner is great i use this on my tile um, in the bathrooms i also use the method squirt and mop for the wood floor i have already repurchased this but i think i have like the ginger lemon one i think that's a scent so i do enjoy this cleaner i recommend it it is great next is another mrs myers clean day product but this is the multi-surface concentrate in geranium so I go through these like crazy. I use these to clean my floor. I use these to make new countertop sprays for Mrs. Myers. Um, these concentrates you can do so much with. Highly recommend them. Geranium scent is great. Honeysuckle, basil, all those good scents in the concentrate are fantastic. Love these. If you haven't tried it before, give it a try. It works really great for so many different purposes. Next is the Method Anti-Back All-Purpose Cleaner in Wildflower. 
I rave about Method. <laughs> I love Method. I love this one. Um, I've already purchased an anti-vac, uh, like another one. I tried the green one. I believe it's bamboo. Smells good. This one smells great as well. I just kind of want to try the different scents. So um, this anti-vac, highly recommend. Next is another Method product. And I want to say this is my all-time favorite one from them. And it is their all-purpose, naturally derived service cleaner in the scent Honey Crisp Apple. Love this one. I can't rave about it enough. The apple scent is just so fantastic. I love it. Highly recommend it. Go pick it up. I don't think you will regret it. Okay, now I have two different oils, essential oils. They are both from Simply Earth. This is Blood Orange and Clean and Fresh. This one wasn't my favorite, like in the diffuser. I did not like this one on the diffuser, but it did work good on the wool dryer balls. So I put a couple drops of this on the dryer balls and would throw those into the dryer and worked fantastic. Um, but the diffuser wasn't for me. So other than that, it was a good oil. Um, like I just used it on the wool balls and it worked fantastic. So then the blood orange is I would use in my diffuser, down the drain, down, you know, I'd put it on the wool balls as well. So this worked for so many different um, uses and I loved it in every single use. So highly recommend the Simply Earth oils. They are fantastic. I have another video that I've talked about them before. I can link that down below so you guys can check it out. Um, two more products. I'm trying to move through these as fast as I can. This one is the LA's Totally Awesome Streak Free, streak free Cleaning Vinegar. Um, hi Luna, how are you? I got this at um, Dollar Tree. I needed a bottle of vinegar so I just picked it up. Worked great for its purposes. Um, I use vinegar for so much. I hate the smell, but works good for a lot of different uses. So I recommend that. Um, I probably won't buy it from Dollar Tree again because I'll probably buy a bigger bottle somewhere else for cheaper. So we'll see. The last product is, um, again, if you have followed my channel, you know how much I love Gain. I use Gain as my laundry detergent. And this is the Apple Mango Tango. And this smells really good. I love this smell. Uh, it smells just like apples and mangoes and all that good stuff. Cleans my clothes really good and it leaves a good scent on them. So highly, highly recommend that. Um, I don't think there was too many products in this month that I probably wouldn't repurchase or I haven't repurchased. Um, but like I said, I was using up partially used bottles because I just don't want a large stock under there. Just get all of them out and just use them up. Um, I don't like partially used bottles under my cabinets. So that's why I have so much. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.